as I was saying, like I said, the enemy, the more Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit grows in me, the enemy tries to stop me every time. He tries to stop me. He tries to cut my videos off. Flare up now. You understand? Call upon the arm of God. Call upon the reinforcement. Call upon his angels to send and guide your way and block your enemies and protect you from those that are coming against you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every weapon formed against me and my family and my household and my job and my vehicles and my soul. Keep me safe, Lord. Let me know the plots of my enemies so they can run and flee a thousand ways. You understand? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runneth over. Surely greatness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He prepares a table before me in the front, in the presence, in the face, in the eyes of my enemies. My cup runneth over in their faces. In their faces. To show that God is going to deliver me. God is going to rise me up right before your eyes. You're going to see my rise by the grace of God. Because it's not me that do anything. Promotion comes from the Lord. Not from man. Not from one man. Not from who you know. But right, wait, 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 wait. Not who you know in the human. <laughs> but who you know in the spirit. If you know Jesus, if you know Lord, the Lord God, if you know the Holy Spirit, it is about who you know. If you know God, it's about who you know. I don't care how many people you know. As you can see, the Pharisees and the Sadducees that's plotting against, it was for them. They thought they had power. That was all about who they knew. To try to bring Paul down. And God sent help for Paul. God sent help to deliver him from his enemies. You understand? Y'all be careful out there. You understand? I always tell people my birthday month always a spiritual awakening for me. It's always something strange going on in the spiritual realm in regards to my birthday month. Which is May 17th. My wife's birthday, May 18th. <laughs> Our anniversary of May 18th. Around this year, around this time every year, the spiritual attacks against my life always get stronger. It's like every year that God gives me, I go through a rebirth. Every year. And the enemy doesn't want me to be reborn annually. <laughs> he don't want me to grow stronger. In Christ, he wants me to turn back to the world. It's not going to happen. You know, not this year. By the grace of God, by the will of God. Not this year. Not this year. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. To all my enemies out there, take heed. To all those who are for my righteous cause, I love you. And I love my enemies too. You understand? Thank you all for giving me the strength to keep going. I don't care if I get one view, two views. That helps me. It lets me know that I'm reaching someone through the grace of God. But I know one day, one day, those views and God's word is going to spread to many, to hundreds, to thousands maybe. That's my goal. To reach stage four. To bring forth fruit. Some 60. Some 100 fold. In regards to the word of God. I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope you have a blessed weekend. May God protect you. 
May God send his Holy Spirit and his angels to protect you. God said, I would see them, I would send my angels. <laughs> God got warrior angels too. He got Michael. He got Gabriel. <laughs> he got some warrior angels out there. That armor with swords and staffs to fight off your enemies, to fight off all those demons in the spiritual realm. You understand? Stay prayed up, people. Have a blessed day. And again, I thank you. I love you. Love you all. You understand? Everybody who's staying for my righteous cause, which is the cause of the Lord, thank you. And those who don't, thank you too. Because every dart you throw at my way is only going to make me stronger in the Lord. It's only going to make me spread this word even more so. It's not going to stop me. You understand? It's not going to stop me. My goal is to reach to the point where I'm like Stephen on my deathbed. Surrounded by my enemies being stoned. Looking up. Still giving honor to God. That's my goal. To walk as the disciples walk. Not like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. I'm not doing this for the uppermost seats. I'm not doing this for greetings in the marketplace. I'm not doing this to become an idol. I'm not doing this to have people serve me. I'm doing this to serve God. You see, get your priorities in order, people. You're not doing this for stature. You're not doing this to be able to go mingle with the stars and be like them and blend in. You're doing this to reach the stars, to reach the idols and tell them, hey, you need to change from your evil and wicked ways. That's what you're doing this for. You're not doing this to be up there and agree with them. You're, you, you're doing this to rebuke and debate, which is argue God's word. Let them know the truth. Not to let their truth overshadow you. To let your truth, which is the Holy Bible, which is the Holy Scriptures and the one God and His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, that's the truth you're supposed to be leading them to. They're supposed to be opening your mind to some curious books and curious arts and yoga and that you are a God. Don't let them change your faith. Don't let the world change your faith, people. Have a blessed day. May the God of our fathers be with you and protect you and guide you and shield you from all harm. Have a blessed one.